Hello, this is Abraham Klein from the Salzburg News and Salzburg Videos. And today here, we're here with uh, Pastor Bob Flaherty of the uh, Faith Alliance Church. And uh, he's here to just pretty much tell us about the church, uh, the ministry, and a little bit about himself. So uh, to start things off, uh, Brother Bob, tell us a little bit, some, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Bob. I'm 39 years old. I've got a wife, uh, three beautiful daughters. We've been here in Salzburg serving at this church for five years, and hopefully I'll be here for another 50. All right. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background, uh, where you come from. Did you go to Bible college or anything like that? Yeah, I actually grew up in Elizabeth, PA, about an hour south of here. I went to college at Columbia International University in South Carolina, and I'm currently working with the Christian Missionary Alliance to achieve ordination. Okay, and uh, tell us a little bit, a little bit about the uh, history of the church. I uh, hopefully you know, you know, you know a little bit about it uh, as far as how it all got started here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, church is about ten years old. Uh, it was a church plant, meaning it wasn't an existing church before. Um, you know, maybe five or six families got together and thought we want to have a Christian Missionary Alliance church here in Salzburg. So they actually started meeting at the old school. Um, they were able to get their hands on this piece of property at a really good price. And, um, man, they dug deep and they pitched in. And they I don't know if they paid cash in the first year, but we own this building outright, which is crazy uh, for the amount of people that was started uh, with. But um, we are fortunate. We are blessed to have this facility. We're 10 years into it now. We're having uh, way more fun than we ever thought we'd have or we should be allowed to have. Uh, we do a lot of exciting outreach ministry. We, um, you know, if, if you're in Salzburg, you know us from Canal Days. You've got our hot pretzels or our Steelers magnets. You got hot chocolate from us at light-up night. You probably brought your kids to the 10,000 egg Easter egg hunt. Or you've been uh, back in the fellowship hall on trick-or-treating night for the, the life-size maze. Or maybe you stopped by for one of the, the movie nights throughout the year. But we like to spend as much time as we can uh, with the people of the town. Okay. And, uh, okay, so you were mentioning a little bit about uh, some of the ministries. Have those uh, sort of been added on as you've been here? Have they always been going on with the church? Or how has that sort of gone on? Uh, the outreach ministries I just described, yeah, they we started those five years ago when I got here. Uh, okay. At that point, we kind of made a, a drastic shift towards being outward focused in the community. Um, I, I don't think communities should support churches. I think churches support communities. Okay. And um, how has it uh, sort of changed since you've uh, sort of taken over? I know I'm not trying to make you sound like a tyrant or anything, but like uh, since... Uh, You're the only one that makes me not sound like a tyrant. Right. Um, <laughs> How has it changed since I've taken over? Um, since I got the job to come right. work here, um, it, we have seen some shifts, but every church shifts uh, with the flavor of the pastor. You know, it was at the time it was a, a more of a traditional feel, and now we are arguably the most contemporary church in the area with you know full band and lights and things like that. Um, so we've seen a much younger crowd, a much more blue collar crowd, um, what I would describe as a much more down to earth everybody crowd. Okay, so uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, describe a tradi well, uh, a usual service, I should say, here. All right, a usual service. We're, we're big on technology, so there's going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of video going on. There's lights, there's smoke, there's a full band. Um, it's loud, and it's loud <clears throat> for a reason, because people like loud music when they go live. Uh, I, I like to think that when I preach, it's much more conversational and a lot less preachy. Uh, if you don't know what preachy is and you've never been to church, <laughs> um, but it's, it's fun. It's laid back. It's... Uh, it, it doesn't bother me when people shout out things from the crowd and we're talking back and forth and having more of a conversation um, because we're here, to, we're here to love people, not to exalt ourselves. We're here to exalt Jesus, but at the same time, we want people to feel like we're on this journey together. All right. And uh, how have you seen uh, as far as um, how, the church, uh, how the church has grown over the years uh, as far as, um, you know, your spiritual walk is, and, and things like that? Is it... How has the experience been for you? Um, it's been hard. You know, there's been times when it's been good and it's been fun, but no joke, this can be a hard job. I, I didn't know that coming in, or at least I knew it was labeled hard. Um, but yeah, you, uh, you learn a lot more when you have to teach it, and there's, there's ups and downs, there's exciting things. You know, like when we had a baptism service, we baptized 16 people, and, and you know, one family was three generations, and one guy baptized three or four of his kids. But there have been... Uh, you know, there have been tragedies. There have been young people who died. There have been, um, you know, way too many funerals. There have been people who were excited about church and then and then walked away. We haven't seen them in a couple of years. Hmm. Okay. And uh, what are, uh, do you have any, like, future plans for the church? Uh, uh, ministry growth, uh, 
missionary projects, things like that? Anything, uh, I guess, up in the noggin or maybe even uh, in future plans? That's a dangerous question. Yeah. Um, yes, always. There's always stuff going on. Uh, Jesus said, go and make disciples. So as long as there are people uh, locally who aren't disciples of Jesus, that's our job. So do we want to grow? Absolutely. There's lots of people, but we want to grow the people who are here too. It's not all about the people in the building. It's not all about the people outside of the building. But um, we're trying to find that balance of you know growing healthy disciples who love God and love others, and at the same time reaching out to those who don't know Him. All right. Uh, and anybody that would be interested in possibly attending a service or getting involved with the ministry, uh, anything like that associated with the Faith Alliance Church, uh, what's the best way that they can uh, get in contact or you know, have you, whatever have you. You can go to our website, www.faith-alliance.com or show up any Sunday morning at 1030 for a service. All right. This has been Abraham Klein with the Salzburg News and Salzburg Videos with uh, Brother Bob Flaherty. And thank you for watching. Once you've watched, please subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, uh, well, or, or you've, even if you haven't, uh, make sure that you share this video with everybody that you know. And thank you. Have a wonderful day.